Hello, everybody. This is Hal's Car of the Black Pants Legion. Thank you for being here for Weekend's End. I hope that you all are having a good evening. This is Hal Zakar as to here tonight, as usual, with the one and only, the man himself, the irascible crow. Hello. And also joining us tonight, here in the announce booth, believe it or not, here he is, it's Newt. I am going to be intermittently doing voices uh, that sound <laughs> vaguely sportscaster-like and Howard Cousel-like. First thing I want to say is Cinder Dragon, thank you for the uh, sub. I did yeah, see it. I didn't want to much. miss it. It was up there somewhere. Uh, I scrolled up and I scrolled. To, there it is. Cinder Dragon, thank you. Nine months, Cinder Dragon. Thank you very much. So, <clears throat> just so everybody knows, it is uh, 
<coughs> positive shares are turned on for only 100 goob. We'll go ahead and get our <coughs> positive shares here at the beginning. I think one that a lot of us can say is that, uh, well, Text Talks Battletech uh, Turning Point at Twycross dropped yesterday, and it was excellent. And that is definitely positive. You guys did an amazing job. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad I, that one turned out really awesome, and I'm really happy that uh, all the animations that uh, I had to render finally made it in. Because I was worried for a while there that they were, I would have to cut something, but no, not this time. I just had to fight Premiere until it did what I asked it to do. <laughs> Beat it into submission. Yes, it took a lot longer than I anticipated, but it is it is not a program that is made very well for doing feature length anything unless you're just putting on just like a, you know an image for like 2 hours then it it's like fine, but yeah. if you start having more than one image in that timeline it just starts losing its mind. Ah, gotcha. Uh other positive shares coming in. Newt said my cat is losing her damn mind on catnip. <laughs> yep. Um <clears throat> Lady Red has a very important positive share. New art goob drive starting on October 1. BPL goes to the casino. Ooh. I'm going to be out front broke. They well, won't let me in because I spent, because I owe them five <clears throat> grand. We're going to be there gambling our goob. We have one from Aloysius. I farted. Thank you. <laughs> Good for oh. him. I gotta go check my chicken burgers. So. I myself, um, you know what? I'll be up front with y'all. Uh, it has been a tough week. I've been really, really stressed out. But um, earlier today, I got to have a, a fun. I <clears throat> I pulled my old um, boffer swords out and got to have a fun sword fight with my boys. They had a great time, and. Um, they vanquished me in the end. They did vanquish me, so... But, you know, still, one of those memory maker moments. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Crow, did you have one you wanted to do other than just finally getting the, the show out, or was that it for you? Well, finally getting the show out is definitely a huge positive for me, because mm -hmm. I, I was, like, not sure when this thing would finally just render correctly and everything would just work. And you know we'd not. Then when we've watched it, we're like, "Oh, this is perfectly fine. We don't need to worry. We're not going to pick at it anymore." That was like when I had a huge sigh of relief. But now, I'm just glad that the hurricane is finally over. Yeah. And I'm. I, I want to get some sleep. And Ooh. that's uh that's that's where my brain is. I don't blame you at all. I do not yeah. blame you at all. By the way, folks, um, if you feel so inclined. Uh, look into the hurricane relief stuff. There are lots of folks in Appalachia that could use your help. So uh, there are shoot the places... you heard him here first, folks. Shoot the hurricane. Huh? There's there's lots of folks in Appalachia that that you know. I say this because the area of the world I grew up in a, a few years ago, a couple of years ago, um, the oral flooding just destroyed the whole area. And I'll be frank with you. After about five days, nobody in the country gave a shit about the dumb hillbillies. So if you feel inclined to help, please go ahead and do it because they could definitely use it. Uh, yeah. Positive share came to us from Fulger Tech. I got both a new Text Talks Battle Tech and my daughter had a great time at her first homecoming dance this weekend. Awesome. Nice. So that means that she's allowed to come home now? Something like that. Let me yeah. see. Make sure I didn't miss... Uh, this one was from Von Falkenstein. Had a nice Saturday watching Tech Talks Battle Techs after 10 plus hours of grueling Twilight Imperium shenanigans. Wow. That's, uh, that, that's a long stretch. Uh, Mercury Alpha X did a big donation on the TTB premiere, Down with the Sickness. You got it, man. Absolutely. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Cancer can kiss the end of my fist, which I think. I've decided no, that's I'd, a better I'd, way I'd to. Rather not. Yeah, I was gonna, there's no, there's no like, you know, I don't want cancer to kiss anything on my body. First of all, because yeah. it just apparently does damage more than, you know, it's it's kind of like fighting a lich. Uh, You're like really glad when you fight the lich, but finding that phylactery, man, is, ugh, yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Anyway, excuse me. But <laughs> no, I, I've decided that that that's a better way of putting it than telling them to kiss other things, is because it it conveys my emotion when I'm that upset better. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see. We are going to be getting into it. Everybody, 
<clears throat> hang on, we're going to have a good time tonight. We got a plan. There's going to be betting. There's going to be voting. The uh, We've got... <clears throat> hey, Pharisees, we do have... We do have somebody who's handling the betting tonight. So everybody hang on. Our production staff is already at it. The fact that I have a production staff blows my mind. But we appreciate it. You're about to tell me I was handling it. <laughs> no. No, we got somebody. So everybody hang on. Here we go. We have made this into Hello, everybody. Wait. Sorry. Hello, everybody. I forgot we have an intro video now. I'm sorry. That is loud. That is louder than I remembered it being. Hello, everybody. Welcome to WBPLW. Uh, we are here tonight for a big show of action. I am Halzikar here with Crow. Hello, and welcome to WBPLW, the only wrestling content ever made in the world. Tonight, we're going to have another fine fight between several people in the BPL who probably got really drunk and have no idea where they are. And also joining us is Knut, who is here in the booth with us against his will. Hey, Knut, how's it going? I am Howard Cossell, risen from the grave for one October glorious pre-October night. <laughs> you keep reading that script, buddy. Anyway, <laughs> uh, how are we going to go with our first matchup tonight, Al? Our first matchup tonight is going to be a battle between folks that, between guys that the fans seem to like. Everybody get ready. We are heading to the ring. That was very vague. You didn't tell us anything. No, I did not. No, I did not. And that was intentional. I wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> By the way, there's first. a frost. Here it comes. It's the one and only Doctor Who's the Chef. The loudest laugh in the Legion. Can you smell what Doctor Who's cooking, there folks? Huh? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and his opponent come to the ring straight from Delta. You know him. You're afraid of him. Victor Von Folks. That's right. He is the Sarge, the guy who stomps you in and beats you with a shovel, which is probably why nobody wants to fight him in the arena, because getting with a shovel is not fun. But anyway, it's Victor Von Foe. All right. Spera in the ring starting us off tonight. And I don't know how an eye rake works with um, oven mitts on, but there it is. Now oh, maybe maybe he's got his gloves uh, covered in a uh, seasoning salt. <laughs> that no, those are one hundred percent asbestos oven God. mitts, uh, able to withstand eight thousand degrees. That's uh, that's horrifying. But also, I'm very glad that he's got his gas mask on, so he doesn't have to worry about getting mesothelioma. Everybody that he most surely does not have to. Uh. We do need to give credit tonight. Our production staff that's going to be handling our predictions. The one, the only, the Intern amazing. Number three. No, sir. This is a name staff member. The one and only Lady Red is handling our handling predictions tonight. Give a hand to Lady Red. Thank you so much, Lady oh, Red, for handling. Somebody, these. yeah, that was supposed to be somebody beat you to it, Red. I don't. Okay, appreciate the. Uh, do appreciate the Good Samaritan doing that, but um, there's some stuff that Red's going to be also doing tonight, so that's that's okay a duty to, to let her handle Scoop Slam there by Victor with a nice spine kick. And like Doctor Who, I need to go get my buns toasted. Huh? Alrighty. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> must, uh, it must be the hot dogs. Uh, I... Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, tonight's hot dogs brought to you by LSD? I mean, what's it, who are we, what are you talking about? Anyway, we're going to see... Wow, Doctor Who just did that suplex. Belly really, to belly was, suplex. Very yeah. nice snap on it. And he goes in for the cover. One. Just stretching his leg out there, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, hooking one leg makes it harder for you to use that leg to get the motion of your body to get that kick out going. Knees to the face there by Dr. Who's the Chef. Oh, big drop kick. 
Very committed drop kick. Uh -oh. Ooh, what's Folk doing? Oh, curb stomp by Victor Von Folkt. Going right in for that pin early on. Ooh. We saw Victor get a win with that last time. Ooh, Kawada kicks there from Doctor Who's the Chef. I I would have never expected him to do those. <laughs> oh my God! Look at this! Look at this single leg lion tamer stretch. This is why you don't mess with a chef. They know how to twist you in ways you can't even imagine. They get all that practice on pretzels, don't they? Definitely. Oh, big DDT there out of Victor Von Folkt. Yep, Victor. Oh, oh, backbreaker by Doctor Who. Let's see what happens here. Into the ropes, coming back. Standing switch, shoots him off again. Running elbow, knocks Victor to the mat. One, two. Dude. So, what's Victor's story? Why Why is he not a police officer? Big beel toss, I believe. Oh, look at that. Victor laying the hands in. Okay, never mind. That answers my question. <laughs> I, I just, that, that was wondering, and I just now opened my eyes, and I could see why. I was going to say, I think he's moonlighting, but, you know, <laughs> that works too. <laughs> Big left hands. Knees there from Doctor Who with a knee drop following. Going. Uh oh. Look at oh, that good God. surfboard stretch. Give up. Doctor Who doesn't want to be a chef anymore. He's got a career being a spa guy. Ooh. <laughs> Mule kick there. Pulls Victor up short. He goes. You know what I mean? Look at that. Give up. I don't think he's going to tap out. I think he's going to say Thank more. Oh, that looks that that looks like got that crick out of his back. That spinal oh. alignment there. Yeah. Oh, hard forearm catches Doctor Who's the chef. Victor hits the ropes, comes off the ropes. Another big forearm. Oh, more kicks from Doctor Who's the chef. Really feeling that lower body offense tonight. Wow. They're, they're both committing into these high-flying drop kicks here, which I really appreciate. Really going for it tonight, aren't they? They're sending the, him uh, through the grinder like Bertram's Boigas, who was generously sponsored to pay for the funeral of the loser of this match. I, I, I don't think anybody's going to die. What? But <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes your commentary reminds me of a music CD that's skipping in a CD drive. I, I'm like little jamming out. I'm like, yeah, I feel this. And then it just makes a left turn because it skipped like two minutes ahead. So I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. What? What is going on here? <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm cooking my dinner. Neck breaker there from Victor Von Folk Puts Doctor Who to the mat. Nobody dies immediately within a minute, neck breaker. This has actually been a pretty reasonable match. I haven't really seen anything super dangerous from these two. Just a lot of very, you know, simple... Oh, oh. never mind. I spoke too soon. Choke there across the ropes. Right. Oh. Victor. Bring in that sort of pain. Oh, brain buster by Doctor Who. Enough to make the chef's blood boil. Huh. Misses the drop kick. And now they're trading blows. It just looks this just looks like the three stooges right now. This is a very Oh There it is. Drop Back kick. to wrestling, yeah. Drop kick there from and Doctor Who's the Chef goes in for the grapple. Victor wow. catches him with that right hand and goes back to the scoop slam. Oh people love that shoulder check. The whole crowd just exploded. Uh, oh, Doctor Who! Whoa! Reverses the suplex. An incredible reversal there. <laughs> they both committing to those drop kicks, though. I love it. Into the ropes. That's a big commitment. Oh, inverted atomic drop by Doctor Who's the chef. His left like heard a all jack. Oh. Left. <laughs> Flying leg drop. Oh, sidewalk slam by Victor. Dropped like last night's souffle. Uh, disappointing. Wow. Right into the spine. Victor returning that adjustment favor, I guess. Oh, 
Big shoulder block. And we're back to Kawada kicks. Wow. An incredible show from Doctor Who's the Chef. Tonight's nachos brought to you by the Nacho Business Company. <laughs> A subsidiary of Discount Dan's Mind Your Own Fucking Business, LLC. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a subsidiary of Nunya, <laughs> but that makes sense, too. Oh, man, yo, no, Nunya's still going through a, uh, they're going through the courts right now with uh, another company. Oh. Anyway. Gotcha. Doc- Dr. Who just going ahead and doing all those insane kicks. Taking a page out of Toshi Kawada's playbook. And off. That was one hell of an elbow, Jesus. Huh? Shoulder block there by Victor. Side, oh, embarrassing. Side, side steps the drop kick and goes to the knees. It is being requested in chat if there will be a WBPLW uh, list for download in the Fire Pro Wrestling World Workshop. I will work on that for later this week. Ooh, hard elbow catching Victor there on the tip of the gas mask. Oh, inside nope. cradle, too close to the ropes. And it looks like he's coming back for something. Mm. I thought he was going to do another drop kick there, but no, didn't see. Nice surprise. To... Ooh, that thigh is going to be the thigh, some ice later. The yeah. thigh, <laughs> the hamstring, and perhaps even the uh, the egg the scrambler. <laughs> oh, sage Ooh. breaker, sage breaker by Victor. He's going Good for the Lord. He's going for the pin. One, two, three. Oh, That's it. Oh my God, Victor Von Folk secures the win with the Siege Breaker. Incredible. I don't even know how he's still able to speak after the amount of kicks that he got to the head from Doctor Who tonight. That's right. The sign in the crowd that says "Get Folked." Yeah. Absolute barn burner of a match there. Ninety-nine percent. 99% uh, <laughs> Oh, Gaming Fox, thank you for the subscription. <laughs> that puts you at seven months. Thank you for thank being you very here. much. All right, we've got ourselves our uh, 99,000 goob goes to Ether and 11 others. Ah, big, big win on there on the betting. So we'll be right back after commercial. Woo. We also have a positive share from Ether who says... White Cross was awesome, and the charity chosen is very close to my heart. Yep. I was caught off guard by how much grief I'm still holding on to. Always floored by the love and hope in hearts of the Legion. I again raise a glass to everyone involved in Texas projects. You guys rock. Thank you so much, man. That means so much. Ether, I'm serious. Here, here we are outside of the arena where oh, Dr. Who We're on Who commercial. Be- hey, we're on commercial, dude. Hang on. <laughs> uh... You, yeah, you're not yeah, saying it on the. You're not. Yeah, you, it's it's not on the. It's not in the Discord stream. It's on the Twitch. But we're on commercial, uh-huh. so we're out of character for the moment. <laughs> uh, Morn Wilk asked what the percentage in the post match screen means. It mean it's the internal barometer that the game uses for how good of a match it is. That's in that's important if you're doing um, promoter promoter mode. Yes, because higher yeah. match higher match quality means more number go up i think right it's it the means that more fans will show up and support despite you know not having they don't want to they don't want to show up for a quick slaughter with no show or anything exactly that's exactly right yeah yeah it's 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 it's, fire pro promoter is actually a really fun mode it's just uh you you start getting to the point where you're like okay i know these fights are going to be like a 70 percent this one's gonna be like an 80 percent and then they'll like surprise you and come back with like a super low one or a very high one and mm. uh it's all based on like like they learn from uh their wins and their losses it's yep. a it's an incredibly like complex system uh, we have a uh, couple of positive shares this came to us from fair seas x i quit smoking monday it's been hard but it's worth it to be able to have more time with my son First of all, just remember to... that's awesome. Give me just a second. That's awesome. Second, that's actually exactly what my dad did. So high five to you, man. 
Yep, just remind yourself what you're doing it for every time you, you struggle. Mm-hmm, 100%. It's Furta, Furta Boy, Furta, or Furta, Furta Girl, Furta Kid, whichever kind of kid you got. Furta. Um, this came to us from Grimos. Weekend was good. Truck quad cross was rad. Painted a Jade Falcon awesome during it. Struggled a bit with classwork, but I'm getting getting back on it. Went for a short walk. The dog I'm watching is a very good girl who does not like pets. Oh. How do you how do you be a very good girl and not get pets? That's weird. Uh, and this came to us from P -P -P Parallax. I got help. I got to help produce a promo for Twycross this week with a bunch of great creatives. I'm really proud of what we managed to produce. Iden Red and Ducks made the whole thing come together better than I had hoped. It was a really good promo. Yeah, it was. Yeah, man. And this from Geth. Uh, I survived this week shorthanded. Set record sales yesterday for a normal day, and we did it without full staff. TTBT gave me a boost when my spirits were low. I also infected my coworkers with wrestling star. <laughs> oh my god. That damn song. And from Load, got paid on Friday, and the bit that got me to giggle during the text talks on Saturday was the testimonials for the Van Zant militia, specifically getting your hole. <laughs> and <laughs> From Stryker, after four years of gathering and building, we finally completed the Ecto-1 model on stream. Very cool. Nice. Oh, and from Leon. Finally heard from a friend I lost contact with during Helene. You guys are hitting me so fast. Uh, they are safe and evacuated. My mind can rest easy. I'm glad to hear that, Leon. They're very glad. Ramshackle Salvage. I got accepted to DM for my city's youth tabletop event. I'll be teaching kids how to play D&D in an interactive tutorial. Awesome. Awesome. I'm sorry, Crow. You were going to say something, and I cut you off. I apologize. I didn't say anything. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Everybody, I hope you're ready. We're getting ready to head to the... Oh, and from Cookie Mama. Renfair is over. Did okay, and I survived. No spoilers, because uh, I have not seen Text Talks yet. So, it's coming. All right. <clears throat> Newt, you might want to head to the back because you got a match coming up, my man. Oh, no. Yep. I'm and... just going to be mic'd up during the whole fight. All right, everybody. I can tell you I do not want to touch testicules, and I feel like the feeling might be mutual. Well, we'll see what happens, everybody. It's time to head to the ring. Here we go. Heading to the ring. Loading. Coming to the ring first, you know him, you're mildly creeped out by him, it is hot and hairy, it is Testicules! That's right, the only guy in the entire arena who sweats more than most people. <laughs> you said if I slept with you, I wouldn't have to touch the hairy guy. And his opponent making his WBPLW debut, that's right, here he comes, the one and only, Kanu! the board that's right he, he has no music for some reason ah uh, that means that i went to put it in in the file in the format or something didn't oh god that's okay that's okay here we go match starts it do be like that oh Ooh. newt starts out by throwing the first attack puts testicules into the corner And testicules start. Oh, Ooh. body slam oh, already the on the concrete. And into the ropes, coming back. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Elbow to the head. Testicules in the corner, hitting those turnbuckles hard. <gasps> And Testicules trying to come back with some offense here. It's amazing it, how this bird can fight while eating chicken burgers. And yeah. big flying cross body there puts Testicules on the mat. Bell clap gives Newt. Oh, sleeper is applied! That's an incredibly Ooh. brave move to pull on Testicules. <laughs> uh oh. That looks like it's he's going to do something else. Oh! Her, oh! Testicules also likes that. Er, uh, Newt also likes that curb stomp. Ooh. 
not coming back off the ropes, he says. Oh! Power slam by Testicules. Newt kicks out before even a count. A little early into the fight, but Testicules looks like he wants to get out of there. Oh! Oh, armbar! Yeah, you know, I'm sorry, Testicules. You are Ooh. not the person receiving the raw end of this personal contact deal, huh? There we go. Bell clap again. Clothesline. Yeah, the testicular torsion. I like that move for the chokehold on him. Uh. <laughs> oh, now testicular is going in for a sleeper. Hell. Nods in invert testicular. Oh, big running back <laughs> elbow. And here we go. Canute already slamming him right into the ground. I'm wondering if at some point Testicules will uh, pull off one of his signatures, which would be very unfortunate for Canute. It, it would not be comfortable, I'm willing to bet. Oh, no. Oh, inside cradle. One, two. Looks like he's going to rip his arms off. He's trying to. Again, into the corner. A couple of knees to the chest. It looks like Canute might need to uh, see a doctor after this. One, Unfortunately, the do our only doctor is already uh, headed to the hospital as we speak. Dude. Oh, no, Ooh. no. We have multiple doctors. At All Hallows Anarchy, we are going to have a Doctor v. Doctor v. Doctor featuring Ooh. Doctor match. Yeah. Nice. Spine buster there by Canute. Goes for the is pin. Is anybody here a doctor? Ooh. Look at all those people. They paid for their entire seat, but they only need the edge. Newt counters that back suplex with a bulldog and goes pounding testicular's head into the mat. Oh. That would have hurt. At least I got them fuzzy boots. Uh. One. Two. No. Two. Testicular, or er, Newt kicks out. Somebody call the doctor. Which one? Uh? And. Five minutes gone. Back suplex by Testicules. Well, if you want Dr. Baby Hands, I'm sure he'll be happy to come down here to uh, lend a very like tiny baby hands. I only do my uh, prostate exam. <laughs> that does seem like the ideal doctor for that, doesn't it? Flapjack there <laughs> by Testicules. Oh. Into the ropes. Testicules comes back. Catches the back elbow. Oh, sleeper applied. I like how quickly my Give impression up. ran out of steam. <laughs> it's hard to keep that kind of thing going. Bell clap. Well, I'm pretty sure Rich Little has a lot more experience than me. And... Newt. Oh. Back suplex by Testicules. Oh. Newt has a good stagger combo going, but Testicules didn't get caught that time. Call a doctor, uh, but Newt for me. Oh. Yeah, you get, I'm, I have a throwing build, and you gave me a guy that's too heavy to throw. Believe it or not, nobody in this, uh, nobody actually has the, like, super heavyweight setup that you can't throw them. I intentionally turned that off, because I was like, that'd be boring to watch. Yeah. So, we have a... Yeah, there's only two enemies in the entire, uh... Of rage yeah. Oh, the uh, Newtonator! The Newtonator! Ooh. Go for the pin, man! Come on! No! Get back up! Bro. No! You hit the <laughs> Newtonator! Get back up! And it looks like that whole that Newtonator didn't seem to bother Testicules too much. Now he's got it on a reversal. Okay, I, didn't hear no bell. I have to I have to I have to agree. I have a production note here. Eliminated is a better name. You have um, been eliminated. That's like a different name. I have different multiple moves, you know. Well, now, for a Cinderwet finish, Dragon was the one that said that one before. I just said it out loud. Oh, okay. One. No, two. get up. Get up. Oh, kick oh. out. Just barely in time. He hits the ropes, comes back, elbow we'll drop. Call that one the eliminator. The elbow drop. Newt's got to play it a little careful tonight. Oh, Ooh, nice clothesline. 
Big headbutt. Oh! Ooh, just, right ooh. into the bell. I can't. Oh my god, he slapped me. I can't believe. Yeah. Testiculus <laughs> doesn't like getting slapped, believe it or not. He finds it very painful. Newt's dropping elbows. <laughs> Ooh. Has he hit his signature move yet? The, uh, uh, he doesn't really uh, have one. <laughs> oh, oh and now he's out on the concrete. Looks oh, like Canute's going to go for some kind of high flag. Oh, Ooh. suicide dive by Newt. Ooh. Ooh, that was ballsy. Nine, ten. No, get in. Now, Testicules hasn't been called ballsy since his early days. <laughs> no, I was talking about me. <laughs> that uh, dive out of the ring. Oh my god. Is this a knockout, or is there a, a uh, time limit? Yeah, there is a time limit, but there's the criticals are on. They're just set to low right now. Yeah. Ten minutes gone. Ow, he just gave me a donkey punch. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Not since I was so poor that I had to make juice from a mule if I had a donkey punch that bad, huh? Spine buster there by, by Testicules. Oh! Ooh. He was going for a backslide. Testicules fought it, so he gave him a uh, mule Ooh. kick there to make a point. Ooh. Come on, get up, you beautiful bastard. Off oh, the ropes. The oh, big Ooh. flying European uppercut there. One, One two, two, three. No. three. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh. Testicules. No. Oh, no. Got it with the tea bagger, everybody. Testicules snuck away <laughs> with that. Boots. Oh, my gosh. I, that <laughs> ankle slam. Oh, man. Rough yeah, debut. Just totally. It was a good attempt. Testicules is a very powerful opponent. He is. He is indeed. We're going to head to commercial. Oh, yeah. I do have a story about where, not where the name Testicules came from, but where the concept came from. I um, The name came from a short-lived USA show called G vs. E. Uh, but the <clears throat> the um, the style, the big hairy guy who tries to, to smother you and everything. I had an old roommate whose dad was a uh, judoka, and his dad was he was a big like heavy set guy, but he was kind of that stout strong. But he's this big dude. He was real hairy, and the way he would react is when he'd start getting active, he'd just start sweating right away. He was in good shape, but he'd just start sweating. Well, he had a move called the walrus where he'd get to a dominant position and he his gi would always kind of loosen up whenever he'd be grappling and so he'd just kind of like mush his torso onto the other guy's face to kind of stall out for a few minutes so yeah. the only hair the other guy had was was hairy sweaty man air in order to and there's some people tapped out to the uh, the walrus so wow <laughs> I need to interrupt you to say it that is, I didn't this year said I've been terminated. Oh, God, that's good, too. Yeah. Also, 84,000 goob goes to Mad Hatter and 10 others. I just tuned back into sweaty, <laughs> hairy man air. What the fuck? You're going to have to watch the VOD there, Aiden. And the concern celebration takes place. We also have a positive share from Gaming Fox. It says, managed to get through a tough week working at Blue Target. Really enjoyed Text Talks Battletech, especially the ad for Vance and Well, thank you very much, man. I you enjoyed that. And Dengar's Marauders with a subscription. 28 months. Thank you, Dengar's. Thank you for being here. I missed having a conniption. It's a, it was a judo move of someone I knew, Aiden. <laughs> I didn't realize that story would get such a response. That's amazing. All right. <clears throat> so, after the next match, 
After the next match, we are going to have a vote go up. I hope everybody's ready. This vote's going to be very important. But first, we have our next match. Let's head to the ring. Coming to the ring first, you know him, you groan at him. Here he comes, the Punisher, the Pundertaker himself, Rail Mirrodin. The Pundertaker? Yep. How? That was explicitly requested. How dare you? <laughs> and and right behind him is someone who's not any better at puns. <laughs> <laughs> It's Storm Song. Storm Song, the bad horse I feel like himself. the two of these in the ring is just going to be punishment. <laughs> That's the name of Rail's finish. Good there, God. Here he comes, Storm Song, with his glorious mane. That's right. I've seen it in person. Storm Song has the most amazing hair. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Not even kidding, man. Lifting choke there by Storm Song to start us off. It. Oh! Storm Song trying to cut Rail off from getting any offense in, but Rail catches him with an arm drag. Dang, we right in there. And scoop! Slam Storm Song to the outside. One. 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 Four. Oh! Ooh! Into the barricade. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh! 11, Axe handle by Storm Song. How many seconds until you're out for being out of bounds? It is a 20 count, but ah. seconds depends on the ref. Another lifting choke. Who's the yeah, ref? some refs Let's... definitely count, count faster than others. Spara has been the ref for the is the ref for the first three matches tonight. Oh, headlock and spin to win by Rail. Oh. Very fancy. Don't know that that's gonna be enough for a pin there, Rail. Reversal. You got this dollar store, Aquaman. <laughs> oh, oh, big stomp there by Storm Song. Come on, water guy. Oh! Fun. Good the, lord. Yep. Like Rail's neck just grew like three more inches. <laughs> yeah, beat up the guy from Moana we have at home. Right? <laughs> Storm Song is in a mood of making. trying to tell Rail don't choke. Fun. And. Yep. Into the ropes. Rail comes back. Oh, Storm Song that absorbs that shoulder block. And Storm Song's not letting Rail go. Oh! One. Let's see what happens here. That's right, tonight's WBPL 76 camera work coming to you live from the BPL blimp <laughs> above the stadium. You got this, Jason Mimosa. <laughs> the blimp is not so technically supposed to be sideways, but, uh, you know, that's just that's how it's being flown, and it works, so don't question it. We also, oh, another, oh, God, Storm Song with those big steps. The, uh, the blimp also... Looking through the hole in the ceiling. It's not a retractable dome. The ceiling just has a hole in it. Incidentally caused by the same blimp no less. <laughs> <laughs> Tex was just on there on the inaugural voyage and kept screaming, I want a closer look. Uh, and, oh, big open hand there from Mirrodin. Oh! Mr. Perfect Style Neckbreaker. Five minutes gone. Uh oh, Rails heading up. 
Decided, decided not, not to. Yeah. Yeah, I saw him get up. He's like, nah. 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 Oh, God. Oh. I'm getting sympathy pain. I once had a very fat man do that to me in the ring. and oh. It's it's not even just the step. It's the press and then the slide forward yeah. as he steps over. That's it's like... Family cats also do that. c Black, thank you for following. <laughs> thank you for being here for WBPL 76. Could we get some folks to hit those uh, hit those tags for us in the chat? Fireman's carry there by rail. Usually they don't bring them into the fire, but wow, what was that? Another Mr. Henning's or a Mr. Perfect style neck breaker. People point out some incredible moves tonight. Absolutely, everybody's been working on refining their own style here in WBPLW. Hip strike there by Storm Song. One, the block. Two. Oh. C-Plock. Big the open block. hand strike. Vectron, thank you for gifting the sub. Give thank up. you so much. Oh, oh crossface chicken wing applied there by rail. Oh. One, two, three. Oh, Storm Song's out of the ring. One, two, three. One. Someone the size of Storm Song here, it takes him longer to get up from a lot of these. It's the impacts hit harder on someone that's that's bigger, so we may see that he uh this might wear on him faster than it would on other people. Back suplex. And keep in mind he's still gotta be uh spry for his shift at Chippendales after this. So. <laughs> Where everybody Again. is indeed working for the weekend. At the end of this, Rail is just going to be talking at a uh, different pitch because he's just got so many chokes in tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good lord. Right? Oh. I can't say that mule kick was unwarranted. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Good the, lord. That <laughs> hurt to watch, yeah. Mule kick being the sibling of the good old-fashioned donkey punch. Oh. Whoa. M monkey flip there by Rail Mirrodin. Back to the spin to win. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I, I'm not entirely certain I'm going to... I would ever want to be in one of those. The uh, Yeah, Storm Song's just flattening oh. rail with those. <laughs> Into the corner. Oh, rail Ooh. dodged! Ooh, was, wow. Hurt, like, legit. Oh, What do we have here? Back into the corner. Oh, big body avalanche there by Storm Song. Storm Song looking exhausted after Ooh. Rail's assault. But Storm Song is straight up and flattening Rail out this whole fight. Oh! Death Valley bomb there by Storm Song. He hits the ropes, comes back. Big leg drop, goes for the pin. One, two, three, oh, and it's over! Oh, oh my god! The might Mary of Storm Song. is in a pile of neon green and purple. <laughs> Someone get the spatula. We're going to have to get uh, Rail out of the ring because tonight Storm Song has flattened his opponent. Oh, big win there for Storm Strong with the atomic leg drop. Rail. man fails to break the box office. So. <laughs> just just repeated attacks to the neck have put was too much for Rail to overcome. All right, we are going to be heading to the ring. Or we're going to be heading to commercial. 162,000 goob goes to Mad Ducks and 11 others. Nice. Well done. Holy shit. So this came to us from Mad Ducks for positive share. Uh, I know I usually chime in with optimism and occasionally anecdotal nonsense. This has been a rough week with two deaths and even my cat had her last vet appointment. It's been one of those weeks of all time. On the upside, I still have family that loves me. Everyone in the BPL and Ox have been nothing but supportive. And I have notes from the funeral to share if anyone wants to read them. I'm proud to say I was the least in trouble of any family members during the funeral. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 
I don't know what to say about that. Oh, man. Well, ducks, big hugs go over to ducks. We, uh, yeah. I hate that you had to go through that, man, but, you know. But think of all the eye breaks you can force people to do with all the money you just want. <laughs> all right, so. You do enough eye breaks, we just go to sleep. Yeah, that's. That's don't, why there's a timer. Don't, this has definitely been me. the most week of all time for a lot of people. That's true. Myself. It's been. It's <laughs> so been. I, I really. Oh, I break for 20 seconds. Uh, and I'm going to do this from memory from Dengar's Marauders. My daughter Fiona got a 100% on her spelling test. Awesome. Very, very cool. 100%. Nice. So it, I told you guys something was coming. And I'm gonna keep the uh, I'm gonna keep the commercial break up for a minute because we are going to be having another proving grounds match tonight to see who will be taking on Parallax at All Hallows Anarchy, which means Lady Red, I need for you. Could you please get there? It is the proving grounds straw poll right there. Go ahead and hit your vote for who will be taking on Parallax in the main event tonight in a proving grounds match. Proving Grounds match. If you able, are you if you are able to beat or tie the champion in a Proving Grounds match, you get a title shot. So please look at the list. Well, depending on where you go, some folks call it a. Uh, AEW calls it an Eliminator match. Uh, Ring of Honor called it a Proving Grounds match. WWE calls it a just because we feel like it match. Um, I like the Proving Grounds rules. So what we'll be doing is um, <clears throat> the Proving Grounds match will be, like I said, whoever takes on Parallax in the main event tonight to see who the winner, to see if the winner will be facing him at All Hallows Anarchy. So we're gonna we're gonna give it a minute here because people have got to yeah. vote. It looks like the winner is Canute with eight million votes. <laughs> uh, I am humbled. I am humbled. Uh. <laughs> well, I am humbled, but also I deserve this. Uh. All right, let me get. I voted for the bird as the word. So this will take just a second because we haven't done a, a fun feature match for a while, so I'm going to get that ready in the background. Can we do a five-on-one match where everybody just beats the shit out of uh, George Lucas? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, to be oh, fair, Nixon, uh, to be fair, both of those men have lost in the past. Um, where where did he go? There we go. So let's let's keep this one let's keep this one quiet until it hits the ring. Oh, I see it. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Funny I should mention Chippendales though. <laughs> it worked out really nicely, didn't it? All right. I was accidentally foreshadowing and I didn't even know. It. Yep. We're going to give this a couple more minutes on that straw poll vote. See who takes on Parallax in the main event for a proving grounds match. I love the fact I love the love that went into the uh, custom one on the left. Anyway, I'll be right back. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes. It, I was it's super impressive. Uh, I was really shocked when I found it. <laughs> Thank you, Bulk. <laughs> Ooh. All right. When it rolls over the next minute here, we got one more minute on the voting. We're going to see what happens. I'm not even looking at it. I don't even know what's happening. So, I'm not looking at nothing. Uh-oh. Fulger Tech's putting something in chat. Now I'm worried. What are you all doing? Oh, God. Huh. Well, okay. That's interesting. All right, you got about 30 seconds left. And we're going to see who challenges Parallax in a Proving Grounds match to see if it goes on to All Hallows Anarchy. And there it clicks over. So, Lady Red, can you tell us in chat who will be facing Parallax in the main event tonight? 
Waiting to see. Oh! Guys, it looks like I have a match tonight. Um. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Okay, y'all are... Uh, NNT, don't ask questions. You don't... Here, I'm going to give you... NNT, I'm going to give you a little bit of um, funny knowledge for you, okay? If you ever watch a live wrestling show and you see someone in the crowd who's wearing a tracksuit, this is a Mark who is wearing his gear under the tracksuit thinking he's going to get pulled out of the crowd in order to fill a spot on the card. It never happens, but there are guys who think it can. So... <clears throat> Just so you know, oh, wow. just keep yeah. I, I I saw guys like that at wrestle in the crowd at WrestleMania, and I pointed and laughed. That was the last time I watched WrestleMania. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> no, nah, it was not. Okay, it was not that, the sorry, last time guys, I watched. The Undertaker but, couldn't make it tonight. We're gonna need someone from the crowd. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> God, Whoa. it's such a it's such a dumb thing, it's such a Mark thing to do. All right, everybody, our feature matchup of the evening is coming at you. Get ready. We're going to head to the ring. Coming to the ring first. After we come back from commercial. Coming to the ring first. You've seen him before. You may have feelings, good or bad, towards him. Yes, it is. From Aqua Teen Hunger Force, it's Carl. Ah, none of this matters. <laughs> that's, not, that's the guy. The nine-pound hammer himself comes to the car. You need to you need to make a shirtless Patrick Swayze for to go with the next one, and they could be I, like a tag team. I didn't make these. Okay, I got these off the works. And his opponent coming to the ring. It is the Beverly Hills Cop himself. <laughs> no, it's not Beverly Hills. The, Beverly Hills Ninja. 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 Why did I say Cop? Chris Farley. I screwed it up. I screwed it up. Okay. I'm just saying. Oh my God! This, this is, is going to be a very I, heavy fight. I do like how, <laughs> with the way Chris Farley's model is, sometimes his stomach clips through the clothes. <laughs> uh, there's a Patrick Swayze on the workshop if you want me to send it to you. I'll, I'll try and remember to look it up after the show. He's shirtless. Uh, exactly like I wanted. <laughs> He's, he's got skinny pants, and I bet he kicks a lot. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey, Mr. Farley, I, I saw you on SNL. Could I uh, get an autograph after the match? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought this would be a funny match. Oh! Oh, my God! Right out of the God. ring. Big spinning heel kick there by Chris Farley. Why the hell do Carl's I Carl's got up. What is... Carl's got claws? No, he had a fork. Oh, my God. That's right. He brings his own fork. Oh, he missed the spear. Into the ropes again. Here he comes. Big atomic drop. Oh. Oh, arm cross camel clutch there from Chris Farley. Gonna see what God. I will be right back. Okay. Carl yeah, Stump. Bravo scene sounds very excited. Who are, who would Patrick Swayze and Chris Farley fight though? I don't know. I don't have any idea. John Lithgow. Huh? Maybe we well, maybe they could fight two of the guys from King of the Hill. We had the, the four guys from King of the Hill fight Kiss not long ago. <laughs> And, oh, Carl goes to the bell. And a neck breaker from Carl. Going to be way more effective than stomps and flip-flops. Carl goes into a stretch muffler there. Did not expect that. <laughs> Crowd, big fans of Carl here tonight. Oh, man. And so, Carl and Chris Farley face Chris Farley sending him. Oh, knee to the gut. Oh, God, look at that arm break. He calls it the van down by the river. Uh, 
And, oh, Carl. Buckle bomb on Chris Farley. Good Lord. <laughs> Spine kick. And a short arm clothesline from Chris Farley. Climbs up top. Chris Farley with a 630 cent on. My God. Now they're trading punches. I just came back from uh, the parking lot. Yeah. And uh, several of the food trucks have caught fire, not because of uh, not because of any cooking, but apparently somebody has been firing off uh, fireworks oh. that they got at a military surplus store. We were trying to say those weren't fireworks, but uh, Give up. you know, torture things rack happen. There by Carl, Roman Just holding them straight up in the air. It's pretty a lot of shoulder strength. Yep. Uh, we can just make it an 80s thing, and you can have, uh, Chris Farley and oh. Patrick Swayze fight the two protagonists of the Karate Kid. I, I do actually have, well, I've got William Zabka. Um, You've got Mr. Miyagi, I know that, I saw it. Uh, we do have a suggestion, uh, Chris Farley and Patrick Swayze versus the Blues Brothers. Oh, do you have the Blues Brothers? <laughs> no, I don't. I'll see what I can do. You did miss Chris Farley doing a 6.30 cent on, which was pretty wild. That's because I was looking away, trying to find these awesome characters. <laughs> oh! Another neck breaker from Carl. Carl goes back to the bell. Again. Right again. Oh, my lord. Two in a row. Carl's, Carl's a bit offended, isn't he? Oh, Survival whoa. Baddest up here. Uh, he's up there again. Oh, my God. Sky Twister press One, from Chris Farley. Two. Two. Back suplex by Chris Farley. If the moon isn't hey. small, why can I cover it with my finger, huh? One, you can't explain two. that. Huh? Another kick out from Carl. Oh. Carl's like, listen, Fry Man, I don't want to hear it. Uh, there is an Eddie Murphy, um... <laughs> oh, my God. Parallax, uh... Carl hits the ropes, comes back. Big neck breaker drop. And punches to the head. Several. Oh, spear by Carl. <laughs> Impressive. Oh, my good Lord. So I uh, used that. Used to use that in the mosh pit. Inverted oh. atomic drop there by Carl. Oh, Carl just hammering at Chris Farley now. All right, I sent you the Beverly Hills Cop, oh. and I sent you Patrick Swayze. Uh, O'Connell roll. Oh, Ooh. most caught it. Last second. Last second. Hits the ropes. Front flip sent on from Chris Farley. Gorilla press by Carl. Oh my Ooh. God! The orange oh. crush. Two. Oh, oh wow! My. Just barely. Oh he my God! Up, huh? Power bomb. One, two, triple power bomb by Carl. Look at that pin. That is so. Whoa! Oh. Oh, I should have got a screenshot of that. That looks so badass. With Carl's foot on him. Or... <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Seated what? splash by Chris oh, Farley. Shit. Oh! Wow. Wow. Chris Farley takes it. Chris Farley beats Carl. <laughs> Carl went off there at the end. I think he might have blown himself up trying to do it. At you got to keep in mind that these people you're suggesting, if they're not on the workshop, he has to actually make them. <laughs> and I don't necessarily have the assets to do it. Let's head yeah. to commercial. Mm. Wow.
Like I said, I sent you Eddie Murphy and Patrick Swayze. Yes, I will get into them uh, after the show. Yeah, 189,000 goob goes to Bully Bravo and 11 others. Uh, do you have Mr. Miyagi or do you need Mr. Miyagi? I don't have him. If you just send me a list, I can just plug him into the workshop and look for him. That's true. Uh, Thanks, Opkir. I was getting really thirsty. Oh, very nice of you. Yeah, no, I got I got an envelope just full of water. An envelope so thirsty. of water. I'm, yeah, I had, I have to wait for it to be sent in the mail. Oh, but it's good. Oh. It's a little gluey. Well, yeah, that's gonna an happen. Envelope full of water. That's gonna happen. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, everybody. Just so you know, coming up at All Hallows Anarchy. We are going to be crowning the very first WBPLW Tag Team Champions. In the time leading up to it, lots of teams are going to be squaring off to show what they've got going into the tournament. Tonight, we are going to see another set of teams square off a grudge tag team match. I hope everybody's ready because we are going to head to the ring. Yes, yeah, staple the envelope closed. Bionic Babe taking over for officiating tonight. And coming to the ring first, yes it is, straight out of Monday night, it's Pandora Pirate Radio, Squick and Warlax. Why are they booing? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, why do people boo Squick and Warlax? That's a good point. <laughs> they, they have very punchable faces. Huh? <clears throat> Squick also... Uh, no forking around, except he does, did he, so... Did he just, I am not a crook then? Yep, and their opponents, yes it is, it's the Deseers, here they come, Lady Red and Aiden! Both of them have high-flying maneuvers, and together I'm fairly certain we're going to see a lot of insane high-flying stuff happen oh. in the... In, you oh. may very well look at this. Taking the opposite corners, making their presence known. Huge wide angle shot. How cool was that? That's well, right. They were booing Squick and poor Warlax just got caught in the crossfire. Well, Warlax did develop a habit early on in WBPLW of German yeah. suplexing people out of the ring. This just in, an anonymous tipster alleges that he asked Squick for an autograph backstage and Squick stabbed him with a fork. Huh? That, uh... Yeah, that, that sounds right. <laughs> oh, Lady Red does have a Squick poster. Red, if you'll send it over to me, I will show it. I wasn't sure if you were ready or not, but send it over and I'll show it after the match. Why are people screaming me? Uh-oh. Ooh. Because they want to see that poster. Slam. Arm drag by Aiden. <laughs> Boot by Squick. Now Aiden and Squick are in the ring. Ooh. Ooh. Not the corner you want to be stuck near. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Cool. Knee breaker there. There's a random person in the audience holding, <laughs> holding up a sign that just says it's cool. Yep. It's cool guy is back again. Oh, the audience loves it. Uh. He's got season pass. The audience thinks it's very cool. Oh, Lady Red going after Squick's arm, and Squick decides to use the other arm to make a point. Red with the drop toe hold. That's right, the It's Cool guy actually won a season's uh, pass for WBPLW. And also a free hot dog and bean bowl from Tom's Bean House. <laughs> Is it a bean hot dog? I didn't ask, actually. Oh. That's, a, that's a question for the chef. That's, uh, that's He just fair. laughed really loudly when I asked. <laughs> Squick going for the tag. Lady Red bringing Aiden in as well. Oh, swinging neckbreaker to Warlax. They both hit the ropes. <laughs> Knee drop by Lady Red. Give up. Give up, uh... Big belly to belly there by Warlax to Aiden. And they both tag again. Double super Whoa. kick by the Deseers. 
Iden Look at throws. this! Oh! Cartwheel standing moonsault by Aiden! What a show! Oh, that was... Yeah, it, and, and also Squick mood for some reason, like a guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> lady, uh... Now they're trading blows. European uppercuts beating Squick's punches tonight. She goes back to wrist control. Does not hit the rope. Stops herself. Ooh, right into the back, too. Yep. The time I tried to interview him, he did that to security. <laughs> he takes security in, and then he dropped me <gasps> to the ground and stomped me, and then let security finish Headlock me. Headlock takeover only gets a one count. <gasps> I did not even worried. Nope, he knew better. Oh! Those short punches. Another belly to belly. I like how she already knew that they were gonna he was gonna pull some bullshit, so she brought her heart. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, nope. Five minutes. <gasps> she, she saw the tag and she wasn't falling for that bullshit again. Is the cat yeah, yeah, the capture's slightly off. Let's fix that. Okay, that should fix that. Oh! Squick goes to the bell! Oh! Front drop kick by Aiden put Squick out of the ring! Oh, even I'm rooting for these scrappy underdogs. Squick is just making the crowd angrier. He's saying things that they knew are true, but they don't want to hear it. <laughs> Squick very good at using that count outside the ring to regain some wind and oh, right to the eyes! Super kick by Lady Red. She drops into the pin. One, two. Oh, almost. Oh, my God. Yeah. Lady Red has the crispest super kick in WBPLW, and she went for it there. Almost put it away. Sources state this is the only time that oh, he no. actually gets to touch a woman in his life. Oh, oh. Sleeper power bomb. Hold. Double power bomb and a sleeper hold there by Warlax. Lady Red puts what him in the, the hell corner. Is Scubba? Oh, oh, what's Iden doing? He hits the ropes. Oh! People's moonsault! That was awesome. Squick with the knees to the back. And a jawbreaker with that hat. Somebody from the audience yelling, The Claw. Ooh, the Claw! Yeah, if Squick brings out the Claw tonight, no one will be surprised. That is, uh. Oh no! Uh... <laughs> oh, that was a funny fake out. I like that. Dustin Rhodes what? special there by Warlax. Squick trying to fend off both the Sears. Oh, look at that stomp by Aiden! They're just right, they're right in front of us. Ugh. Thankfully, they didn't get too close to the table and knock my mic over again. Oh, leg lariat! Tags in, Lady Red. Into the ropes. Super kick again into the pin. One, two. Oh, and close to quick. the corner. Sorry, Crow. I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. A very fast-paced sport. Huh? <gasps> Shoulder block by oh. Warlax. You can't pin her out. You tagged out. Oh, drop kick to the knee. Oh! Oh! Squick goes back to the eyes, and now we're trading shots. Uh, 
Those are very chunky sounding hits. So. Very solid. Ooh! Knee breaker. Ten minutes gone. Here comes Aiden. And Ziguri out of Lady Red. Squick desperately trying to get over to make that tag. Uh oh. Oh! Double power bomb. <laughs> now Warlax and Aiden are trading blows. This is a very close fight. It is right down to it. <gasps> Big oh my God, that knee like lift! It just him up. <laughs> Big knee lift there by Aiden. Drop salt! comes red belly to belly by Warlax <laughs> red kicks <laughs> Warlax right in the knee to get him to break that hold and Warlax goes for his own tag look at red Whoa. knocking them both down oh Ooh, sliding European incredible. uppercut she meant it oh Arm breaker, Squick goes into a Boston Crab. Give up. Give up. says, don't you dare. Give up. Give up. Yeah. Give up. Oh. oh. Vertical suplex. Squick goes up top. Oh, flying stomp. Oh. He's chaining him he's up. Going for an he's going for another. Oh, he loves chaining these moves together. Three. Oh. Oh, oh God! Thank you for following Captain Tucker and Norse Compass. Thank you for being here with us. Lady Red whips Squick to the opposite corner. Fun fact: that move is illegal before marriage in 18 countries. So. Comes back. Oh! oh! High kick, heart attack. Big oh. drop kick. Here comes Aiden! Oh, Squick going for that tag! Oh! Total elimination by the Deseers! <gasps> Drop salt oh! by Aiden! Oh! Aiden just sending Warlock straight out of the ring! This is incredible! Uh, oh! oh Vertical suplex! Oh. Squick, he's got the ring! Squick's got the ring out of here! Lady Red's beating on Warlock's in the ring. Lady Red comes out here. Oh, Inziguri! Super kick! Back in the ring. Back in the ring. Warlock's in the corner. That was an incredibly oh, confusing. Huge combo there by Aiden. Looks like they're almost ready to end this. Huh? Leg lariat by Aiden. Into the corner. Uh oh, what do we got? Yeah. Whoa! Oh my attacking, god, or? look at that! Warlock scrambling to tag out. Yeah. Double oh. super kick again! Uh -oh. oh no! Oh no! He's got the fork! Oh. Aiden's oh coming my. in! Oh my god! Squig! Squig broke the fork out on Lady Red! She hits that the ropes! Wild. Leg! Lariat! Pretty sure I saw that move in Sons of Anarchy. Oh no, she's being held by the Warlax! Oh. Squig Spear! Oh! You've been hit by, you've been struck by some cool silverware. <laughs> Squick trying to press the advantage. Lady Red puts him in the corner. Here comes Aiden. Oh. Aiden heads up top. Moon Salt! 
One, yeah. two, three, and that's it! Oh, big win by the Desiers! Now the Warlax just punched him in the face. What, what's going on here? Warlax very unhappy with that. Good lord, hey! hey yo! <laughs> Look at Good that! God. <laughs> that was a bit much. I thought it was still going until I saw the timer was stopped and I realized he was just having a tantrum. Huh? <laughs> Was that, was that the headliner? That was amazing. No, it was not. Now we're going to have to find a way to follow that. <laughs> wow. We and go. look, the, the goob win on that is amazing. 317,000 goob goes to Zayoku and 14 others. Wow. Huge win. Let's head to commercial. Zayaku. What a win. What a match. What a temper tantrum. I know. All right, so I don't know if there are any positive shares that came in. Squick, the unhinged one, is becoming more unhinged. We need this fight over soon, else we create the singularity of Squickness as Opkir. Uh, do you have the next fight already picked? Not yet. Uh, I'm, there is a very special presentation we're going to have from Lady Red. Lady Red finished a piece of art. It's a poster that we're going to be putting up here. Go ahead and... Let's show the poster. This was another goob drive thing Lady Red did from Thursday night. Behold the Squick poster. Oh my god, that's terrifying. That is terrifying. Oh dear god. <laughs> Giant fork, red glowing eyes, the claw on one hand. And he's so happy to be doing it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'll be right back, but I just suggest sent you a suggestion how's it occurred. Okay. Oh my god. That's just the nightmare fuel I never knew I wanted. It is indeed <laughs> Squick. Oh my god. And I'm sure that whenever Squick sees this, he is going to just howl with laughter. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Incredible. Yes. All right, so given our time, yes, we are going to have time for another tag team match. So, everybody, I hope you're looking forward to it. Wait. No, I already did that. Hmm. Oh. Yes, that's why. Because I had it wrong. Sorry about that. Another tag team match to get us ready going forward. I'm getting it ready right now. I hope you all are having a good time. I'm having a good time. So, I hope you're having I a good time. I am. Let's see. This is promised to be a hard-hitting smash-mouth affair we have coming up. So everybody get ready. We're going to head back to the ring. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We're going to head to the ring. So here we go. Coming to the ring first. You know him. You're aware of him. <laughs> After the loading finishes, we've seen him before, and it's the return. Here comes Cargonia, Randolph P. Checkers, and Leith Skarma. The king of cargo himself, Randolph P. Checkers, followed by the Cargonian lizard, Leith Skarma. The space crocodile coming to the ring. Yo. Got my crown here, yo! Let me tell you. And their his opponents, crown is made of gold. And their opponents. This has been a surprising but effective team. Super, <coughs> superstar, uh, super chief, and Dark Lodestar, the team of Superstar. So they, they, <laughs> that no wonder it was a mouthful. Yeah. Here we go. Leith starting things off with Super Chief. Oh, 
snap mare. Big heavy chop. Neither one's wanting to commit just yet. Probably for the best. Ah. Nice block. Yep. Leith very technical in her approach. Super Chief very, very one of the hardest hitting men in WBPLW. Not quite the hardest, if I can. <clears throat> oh dang! So what match is this? We have Cargonia taking on Super Chief and Dark Lodestar, the team of Superstar. Oh, Lion Tamer there by Super Chief. We should be seeing a Leith poster soon. Tag, here comes Dark Lodestar. <laughs> Leith says no, levels them both. Heading across for the tag, and here comes Randolph P. Checkers. Ooh, arm whip. Wow. Oh, fist drop. Cargonian teamwork. Road of King. It's cool. And it is cool. It really, really is. <laughs> Randolph stops himself at the ropes. And Randall and, P. And Checker is just recently getting out of a lawsuit in which was claimed that several people from Cargo stole uh, about maybe about $40,000 worth of things that were locked in people's cars in the parking lot. But that turned out to be uh, false as, oh. uh, as he uh, goes in there for a pin and... and uh, I just don't need to the chest. I slapped to the face. <laughs> so you're saying it wasn't figs? That is correct. <laughs> Rake of the eyes. Randolph goes into the corner, but arm whip on Dark Lodestar and whip Super Chief out of the ring. Tag, here comes Lee. Super Chief leveling both of them. Oh! Sleeper applied by Leith Skarma. Actually, Cinder, the point of contention was that he was stealing babies, which means this it isn't a civil matter and needs to go to criminal court. Where do you think new Cargonians come from? Then? Ah, I see. You make a very good point, Newt. Don't lock your kids in a hot car, otherwise they might end up working in cargo. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> My I disagree. Song, huh? Trading blows back and forth. Leith. Gra oh. <laughs> the babies in the cars in the parking lot are free. Here comes... Oh, they've got him up. Magic killer oh, by dang. the team of Superstar. Whoa. Comes the tag. Checkers into they the ring. Like, they moved him like freight. They did. And scoop. Oh, oh. Not again. Okay, okay. All right, all right. That wasn't as bad as some other things. Oh, Gorilla Press by Dark Lodestar. It's the ropes. Big elbow there by Checkers. Oh, what do we got? Checkers hits the ropes. Here he comes. Cargo elbow. <laughs> Fun fact, that kind of stumble was also how he broke his foot. Oh, big <laughs> back body drop. Oh, short punch. Dark Lodestar tags in Super Chief, and here comes Skarma. We're going to have us a Donnybrook for a minute. Another magic killer by the Team Superstar. And that, now that's uh, two of them. It both, is. Uh, on each different wrestler. Indeed. Oh! When the Cargonians do that move, we need to call it the Cargo Drop. Right? <laughs> well, the Cargo Drop is actually, well... Yeah, they do have a cargo drop. It took me a second. I had to think about it. Rolling into a body scissors 
sleeper there. Uh, Checkers and Lodestar going in for a fight. Now Checkers and Super Chief. And Leith pulling it back into a corner. Oh! Smart move. Northern Light Suplex rolling into a Fisherman's Neckbreaker by Leith Skarma. Excellent combination. Lord. Checkers going over to Dor uh, Lodestar. T-Bone Suplex by Skarma. Oh, right to the back of the head. That was yeah. nice. Here comes Checkers. Here comes Dark Lodestar. Leith flattens them. And then Checkers does. Good Lord. Oh. Into the ropes. Checkers standing switch. Ooh. Elbow to the back. Knee to the arm. Um, uh, what I don't, was that? That was the AI doing something silly. <laughs> yep, back to the ropes. Oh, sleeper applied. Dark Lodestar works his way out. Super Chief having faith in his partner. And now they're going to trade blows right in the center of the ring. Ah. Oh, right into the chest. Let's see what happens here. Lodestar goes for the tag. Randolph mishandling his package as usual. <laughs> Seems to have things well in hand at the moment. Well, when you don't pay for insurance, don't get mad when you get a <laughs> smash package. <laughs> oh! Skarma oh. with a combo again. Super Chief standing switch. Leaf counters with a back Russian leg sweep. Ten minutes gone. Oh! Oh! The cargo strap Ooh. is applied! Bridging sharpshooter! Give up. Sasori Give Gatame, up. Scorpion, De Scorpion Death Shooter, whatever we're going to call it. That ratchet strap style there move, man. Oh, and again. Do it again. Right oh, over in front of Dark Lodestar. <laughs> Give up. Yeah, the refs, all the refs do that. I Give can't, up. They will ask every time. Give up. Oh. Leaf counters with another back Russian leg sweep. That probably is the safer way to do it, but damn, it's annoying if you're able to hear it. Uh. <laughs> Fujiwara armbar by Skarma. Broken up by Dark Lodestar. Uh oh. Another, hey, Link. another Link. magic killer. Fujiwara armbar locked in. Dark Lodestar has to head back to the corner. Ooh, Checkers is fired up. Fired up and tired. Indeed, both. Don't know what it's going to take to break him out of that, but okay, there we go. Look at Checkers pulling Dark Lodestar away from intercepting Skarma on the rebound. That's teamwork right there. Nope. A little too slow there. And up. Oh, there it is. Cargo drop. Death the cargo the drop. Can he go for the pin? He's going for it. One, two. Two. Oh, Whoa. Lodestar kicked he down. Covered up like a suspiciously dead assistant. If, if Dark Lodestar had been on his back when that elbow hit, Checkers probably would have taken it home. But the time it took for Checkers to turn him over was just enough to recover. Oh! Ooh. Big front slam. Ooh! And here 
here comes Skarma. They're trying to cut Super Chief off from getting the tag. Oh, there it is. Wow. Look at that bridge. <laughs> Ow. Just, right, just a kick in the rib. So. Yeah, that's one way to break a hold. Oh. Dark Lowstar knocks both of them away as they go for him. That's one hell of an elbow. Yes, it is. Oh! Super Chief with the vertical suplex! They're dodging oh. each other's attacks. Oh! Big! One, two, two. two. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, God! Checkers with a... He had a cross-face <laughs> chicken wing suplex and a power bomb taking place. Super Chief brings in Dark Lodestar. Here comes Checkers. This is the last five minutes. They're trying their best. Indeed. To stay in the fight. Knee breaker. There's oh. the strap. But Leith is not the legal combatant, so Super Chief does not need to break <laughs> it up. <laughs> These teams are just hammering at each other. Knee breaker! Ooh. Good lord. Oh my god! Snapmare driver by Randolph P. Checkers. And then pile driver by Dark Lodestar. And. Oh! Pump! Handle! Power slam by Dark Lodestar. Oh, that's oh. press by Checker. Look at him lay those hands in. Incredible. Super Chief breaks it up. Oh, someone got busted open. Oh, God. That's a Tongan death grip. Oh, my God. But they're not fighting the legal people. <laughs> Cattle mutilation applied to Checker by Super Chief. But they're not the legal people. <laughs> There's the tag. There 10 minutes ago. Uh <laughs> Checkers heads up top, changes his Dark mind. Dark is bro has been oh, cut no, open. Oh, his face is bleeding. That Ooh. Fez press and the punches from Checkers busted Dark Lodestar open. Skarma saw that Dark Lodestar was getting to his feet. Oh no. Scoop slam. Or yeah, hip toss. Like we didn't even notice DDT. And they're going for the cargo strap, <laughs> leaning it back. Checkers comes in to run interference. Not gonna take it. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh, body scissors choked by Super Chief. Getting the ropes. Big oh. collision. Ran right into each other. Absolutely. Oh. And there it is! The Shatter Machine! Checkers! Um, what? Miscommunication by the Cargonians. <laughs> oh my god. Checkers goes up again. Cargo drop again. Time for the pin. Is this going to do it? One, two, two. Oh. oh my god! Still going! Super Chief just keeps going! Big Uranage by Super Chief! Leith, They're not even the. <laughs> Leith not even cranking the on the cargo strap there. Super Chief misses! Ooh. Oh! Spicy oh. drop! Oh, this might be it then. Walking oh. suplex. Here comes Dark Lodestar. Checkers goes for the tag. What's going to happen here? Lodestar Damn. takes them both down. Big spl big diving headbutt by Dark Lodestar. Ten more seconds. Oh, Ten seconds? I don't think they're going to no, do it. I don't think they're going to do it. Gorilla Press. Wow. <laughs> what, what a match. Damn. <laughs>
<laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a bout. Both sides fighting like crazy, neither willing to give an inch. The tag tournament all at All Hallows Anarchy is going to be amazing. <laughs> and who won big? All right. It looks like 262,000 goob goes to Urkon Iriker and two others. <laughs> We're nice. at commercial. And I do the thing I do love is that going to a draw has now become a viable thing for people to bet as opposed to that long shot. Yeah, yeah, That's, it's like um, in whenever you do roulette and it's like, oh, I'm going to bet on green, you're like, oh, all right. Yep. That one feeling super lucky today. Right, yeah. Isn't that called a sucker bet? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, everybody. I hope you're Are ready, you ready? F- for the main event. I'll be back after the match. That's right. And coming down the ring tonight is the one, the only Halzakar on the Black Pants Legion. The H Bomb. Yeah. And he just pulled a muscle, it sounds like. He has his own theme music, which is blowing me away. <laughs> Going right behind him. Is his brother, the man, the myth, the legend, the parallax. Also a uh, a champion of some sort, I believe. I think that's a belt. Yeah, that's a belt. Oh, yes, the WBPLW uh, Twitch champion. All right. Uh, How's the card to turn off his invisibility and the match begins? (coughs) Oh, how's the card already getting lifted out with that scoop scoop? Uh, slam. Yeah. A little snap there. Oh, right back to the neck and the chest. Stomp to the back by Parallax. Ow. Oh, wise guy, eh? That's right. Newt, who, who do you think is going to uh, do well tonight? Uh, isn't one of them already bleeding? Uh, yeah. The one that's not <laughs> bleeding, I think, is going to do better. I <laughs> what the hell did you do to it me? Wasn't even a, it wasn't even a minute in. <laughs> I love your response. You know, which one's bleeding? Oh, yeah, there. <laughs> not that one. <laughs> How's the car? It's just weakness of bleeding the body. Oh, that's too funny. How's the car in the corner? I saw belly splash by spawn. I mean, parallax. If <laughs> anything, that probably set his back straight. That that definitely looked like it hurt. Ooh. I think I think Parallax forgot the first two letters of the alphabet on that one, man. And oh. Whoa! Oh. There, there is a lot of blood on the on that side of the ring. Nice, nice indeed. Thanks, uh, sixty eight <laughs> load one. Thank you for hearing dicks thank- coming in. We're going nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ooh, hanging suplex of some sort. I like that the, uh, the 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 blood has not gone off. That is really cool. What? 
Is he just trying to help him get his wisdom tooth out? What's going on here? Oh, good <laughs> lord. He was like, you get one more of those. And then he's like, okay. That's right. <laughs> Ooh. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Parallax. One, two. A little too early on that. That would have been an embarrassing showing. Hey. Sub five minute match. Oh, I've, I've taken somebody down a lot sooner than that. <coughs> I, I let's still let's hold the record for the uh, for the fastest uh, win in the league. Let's see what percentage of blood we coverage we can get on this map. Also, what's your record? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ooh, right from the top rope. Ignore Halzakar. He's uh he's fine. Huh? Yeah, his cries of pain, I'm sure, have nothing to do with the horrors that we're seeing in this match. Good lord. <laughs> Ooh, nice boot to the face. Already snap right into that pin. Parallax still has a lot of fight. Ah, uh, we're right when uh, Discord decides it's not going to take it anymore. Hang on. One, Going for that pin. Two. Probably a smart move. Oh! Oh! Hey, Alcatraz, oh. are you okay? One. No! One. I'm Two. bleeding everywhere! Three. Four. Ooh. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, pile driver into the cement! Ten. Oh my god! Treat me like that! What is it? You can treat me like that! I don't think so! What? Oh, wait! They both have weapons! Oh, and how's the car's got a, a light tube? What? <laughs> what? Yes, I am once again betting on the one with the barbed wire back. Oh, Whoa! God! Right out of the four, ring! Two, three, four, five. Fun fact six, the janitors get $5 for every tooth they find in return. Mm. And Bionic's got a pretty deep voice when she counts down outside of the ring of notice. <laughs> Oh, Parallax right on top of that light tube. One, two, two. Ooh. <gasps> oh, no. It did either of them even use the weapons they brought? I they feel like did. One just, one just used an elbow and then dropped it. They totally did, and if they land near them, they count as extra damage. Yeah, no, no, they're all, oh. uh, they're all props. Uh, like, uh, in a real wrestling match, they obviously wouldn't use a real fluorescent light tube. They'd use a, uh, probably like sugar glass. That's not true. The... Oh! Oh, right into the back! That was a very weird, that's not true. Is that a sound effect? No, no that that was how. That's not true. <laughs> I feel like you can attach that to a button and just press it every time you disagree with something someone says. Ooh. Great. A little too close to the ropes, but a very well executed maneuver. Oh, and now Parallax is asking for another wisdom tooth removal, and Halzakar is more than happy to lend an elbow. Whoa! <laughs> oh God! Whoa! It's the paralyzer. Two, three. three! Oh my God! Parallax with the paralyzer. Did the one Just that the wasn't bleeding win? It sure looks like it. Blood and glass all over the arena. Incredible! Somebody's gonna need. Oh. Wow! So just <laughs> six subs, I do believe, if I'm counting correctly. Wow! Thanks, everybody. <laughs> How'd I do, guys? Okay, you oh, hold on. You need. You get still got some glass stuck in your arm.
Uh, yeah, we did. You did great, man. That was an incredible showing. I was not expecting the amount of mayhem that fight. I didn't expect to get busted open either. That hasn't happened for a while. So 163,000 goob goes to Zayoku Kiru and 14 others. Now, what made you go for the fluorescent light tube instead of the loaded gun next to it? It's huh? just what I saw under the <laughs> right? ring. Very well. And do you feel like that decision may have affected the outcome of the match? Um. Well, you know, I, uh, I think I didn't land my lariat quite right, so that might have played a bigger role. <sighs> I just... uh, that is true. Statistically speaking, matches that uh, where that one of the wrestlers goes for the gun do it typically end much faster and in their favor. Believe it or not, there was actually I only know of one instance where a gun showed up on a wrestling show, but it was on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> so yeah, um... You're ruining my bet. <laughs> I'm good at that. I'm good at that. Still. Hell of a match there. And in less than 10 minutes to get a 100% match. So here we are. We're coming to up towards the uh, the end of the time. And this is the time whenever I stop and do the Q&A. Uh, if you got um, questions about the way that the show and the, the game works, or if you got questions about wrestling or anything like that, feel free. Well, we also had some positive shares. Oh, could you please go ahead and grab those? Yeah, we had a couple that, that we just uh, haven't looked at yet. So we have one from Digiman that says, Took my father to a doctor's appointment and his lungs are doing better than expected. We cut his supplement uh, oxygen uh, in half. If he improves at the level, he might be off oxygen by next year. Oh, and I was able to send Cookie some cards via my brother meeting her and Wood person. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Good stuff, Digi. Square says, Just wanted to give a shout out to the team for another awesome Tech Stocks Battle Tech. Thank you so much. Uh, Square, I appreciate it. I really do. So, um... <laughs> go ahead, I'm sorry. We have another positive share from uh, Haparitz, who says, For Aiden, the memes must fly. I just laughed so hard it triggered my asthma. I really needed that day. <laughs> Excellent. Awesome. So, uh, Lady Red asked what this, uh, this screen is. This is actually a collaborative effort by Lady Red and Parallax. Lady Red did the posters, uh, Parallax did the scene, and then the the uh, Night Owl asked, "Why do the chairs have anti-slip paint on them? Haven't you ever sat in a folding chair and slid out of it?" We wanted to keep that from happening. Uh, oh, Wookie said they survived the Ren Fair. Awesome, very very nice. So, uh, and thank you, uh, thank you, Upcare for the uh, the subs. That was awesome. Appreciate it. That was awesome. So, um, also, uh, there was a question because you said in the middle of the match that's not true. You want to <laughs> elaborate? Oh, light tubes. Um, no, they they've just used real light tubes. And the worst part is that the dumb, uh, the dumb people uh, are the ones who don't open them up and like drain the powder out of the inside. Um, there, there are, there have been some. the The worst offender, I'm going to say, was probably CZW in the aughts, Combat Zone Wrestling, and they would have matches where, um, God, you know, they, they would have, they would just have light tube matches where there's just light tubes every damn where. Um, I, I can't remember the name of the company, but one of them would do what was called Tournament of Death, and it was an outdoor show because they couldn't get any venue to rent to them to do this in. So they'd have light tube matches and barbed wire matches and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Um, I There are some people who can do that sort of stuff safely and handle it properly, uh, but I hate it because people will go out... The guys that know how to do that stuff properly will go out and do it, and then every, every moron who can't actually work a match but is on the indies will go, well, I'll just do that sort of stuff and get themselves mangled. Uh, it's it's awful. I hate it, and people do it. Um, although, that also doesn't compare to the worst, the most painful match you've ever seen, which was from Chikara. It was when, in one match, Los Ice Creams busted out Instead of thumbtacks, they busted out sprinkles all over the mat. And then they were answered by Chuck Taylor, 
who dumped out a bag of Legos all over the map. Oh, dear God. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, things that have happened. Uh, hang on just a second. I think there was another question I didn't get. Could have been glitter. That could have been, that would have been way worse. That would never go away. No, don't do that. You take glass, but glitter, ugh. So, yeah. You'll never get that out. Uh, yeah, I know, Night Owl. I'm aware. It, it was. It's awful. It's terrible. And do me a favor. Don't ever go up, go and look up Japanese deathmatch wrestling because it gets worse from there. Um, it, it does get worse, and I'm not even going to. Uh, I am not even going to dignify it with explaining what it is, because holy crap, uh, it's like actively makes me sick with some of it um and and cookie 2k2 it's worse than that um when the silverware drawer becomes an object in a death match that's as much as i'm gonna say because oh uh, we've already crap. we already saw that tonight eh? the whole silverware drawer it's oh oh god you ever been spooned to death boy <laughs> <laughs> Just don't don't put it in don't don't put it in Google. You're you're gonna be happier. Um, are there... For what it's worth, you wouldn't have had to bother if you didn't mention it at all. Uh, you know, nobody would have. Never mind. <laughs> uh, up here. Message me. We'll talk. So it looks like Parallax is not gonna be facing me <laughs> at All Hallows Anarchy. But here's what I can do is I can show off. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show off the the poster for it because Lady Rich, it's it's so cool. Oh my God, it's so cool. Um, yeah, it I need to, I need to check and see which folder I put it in. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Click, click, and then Parallax also just sent me something. Uh, where did I save that? I know I have it. Where did I put it? That's... Oh, God. All right, got to put it out here. Anyway, uh, any other questions? Um, <clears throat> we had a couple of uh, before. Let's see here. Yep. Uh, did you just do what's the weirdest wrestling match you've ever seen? Um, The weirdest? Oh... Uh not the worst but the weirdest it's mm, i'm trying to weirdest that i've ever seen that's a weird so okay you know what here i'm gonna go with with one that is both weird and stupid it's the fact that in late stage wcw vince russo would god this this fucking guy because he couldn't, he was not a good booker, and he was an idiot. He would put everything, everything had every, a feud was over something, and everything on a pole match. Like there was one thing where they were fighting over. Like, okay, Lady Red, yes, that kaiju wrestling from Big Battle Kaiju in Japan. That's that's just fun. Dragon Dragon, awesome. But this, I've already started down this path. Let me finish it. So there was a feud that happened between Buff Bagwell and somebody else, I can't remember who, where it was over the fact that this guy was mad that Buff Bagwell's mom, not actually kidding, Buff Bagwell's mom was managing him. And so they had a, and I'm not, this is so dumb, it was a Judy Bagwell on a pole match. What? Yes. What? Yes, they had a pole at the... Normally, these quote-unquote things on a pole is there's a pole at the corner of the ring and the thing's hanging from the top, so whoever gets the thing down first wins. And whenever I heard it announced, I was just like, this is, this has become the dumbest thing I've ever heard in a wrestling ring. I am so mad about it. Um, and so, yeah, that happened. Now, Lady Red did remind... Big, uh, big Battle Kai... Big Battle Kaiju out of Japan has guys in kaiju suits do wrestling matches with, like, cardboard set pieces in the ring, um, which is just hysterical. I love it. Um, Minoru Suzuki killed a robotic mummy by pile-driving it in a river in that once. Uh. 
Chikara had Dragon Dragon, um, who was a huge dragon. You should look it up, Chikara, C-H-I-K-R-A, K-A-R-A, uh, Dragon Dragon. You will not be disappointed. Um, Opkir also wants to know when oh, he's getting in the ring. Uh, message me. We'll talk, Opkir. Um, Lord Troa did point out there was a King of the Road match where it was two guys fighting on the back of a flatbed truck as it drove down the road. But it was so poorly produced that the sun both went down and came up over the course of the match. Uh. That happened. So, you know. And yes, wow. Gaming Fox, I did watch some of those. Um, I was I was working at a... Uh, I was working at a... Oh, yes, up okay, here. That was... Yes, I'm sorry. I forgot. Yes, Dr. Mooncake did debut last week. <laughs> uh, I did see Armored Hema fights... There was, they were set up right next to the booth I was working at a Comic-Con once, so I got, uh, you know, front row seats to some bouts. Here, I'm going to start by showing you, this is Lady Red's poster for All Hallows Anarchy. Gaze right, upon how I, uh, cool it is. I got to call it night. All righty, Newt, thank you for being here tonight. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me. And? Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Well, yeah, have a good night. Thank you very much. Check this out. This is the poster for All Hallows Anarchy. How cool is this? Oh my god, it is so cool. Dude. Isn't it? Oh, I love this it. This is going to be awesome. Yeah, I love it so much. And then Parallax sent me the um, updated render. Let me get that. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Uh, I hadn't changed the name on it, so I didn't remember what it was saved as. So, here we go. High quality render. Here it comes. Check this out. Oh! oh nice. Nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is excellent. Hey, Paul. Thanks for stopping by. Absolutely, Bulk. <laughs> Thank you. How cool is that that's awesome isn't it awesome i love it i love both of them they're just so great so everybody um we're gonna go ahead and yeah they, they have been busy oh and digiman says hulk hogan did throw hulk hogan off a building after a monster truck match that took place in detroit oh yeah that happened um so, everybody, thank you for joining us tonight. We appreciate all of you being here. We hope you had a good time. I'm going to go wash the blood off of me. <laughs> thank you all for being here. Crow, thank you for joining me. Hey, man, thanks for keeping this thing going. Thanks, everybody, for making this thing awesome every week. And, yeah, I'm going to go get some sleep, and I hope you guys can as well. Thank all you very much. Right. Everybody, have a great night, and we will see you next time.